Okay, so I've um, been working on a site for a client and um, they actually want some conditional um, logic added to the forms, um, added to their form. And um, I'm using Elementor at the moment and the Elementor Pro and with the form. Um, um, and Elementor Pro by default doesn't have any conditional logic um, built into it. So I kind of shopped around a bit and I found one that I found is really affordable and really cheap. And because it's Black Friday week or Black Friday tomorrow, they're offering the lifetime and unlimited package of $60. Now, if you look at the price and you compare that to some of the other conditional logic um, Elementor plugins, they're a lot more expensive. And this one does exactly what I needed to do. So I thought I'd share with you how to go about um, um, using it. I'm not part of the um, affiliate program, but I'll just put the link in below. And um, if you're lucky enough to get it before the special ends, you'll get it for $60. Um, if you have a look, um, it's priced at $200 for unlimited sites, which is a fantastic saving um, if you can get it now. Uh, there's also different uh, options as well, um, but I wanted the lifetime and unlimited option. So um, anyway, so going back to Elementor, um, I've just put in basic form here. And what I want to do is I want to add in um, two fields. Okay, it's for a glass company. Um, so they want um, an option where we can show what glass type. So it'll be like automotive and residential. So we're just going to add in um, this and we're going to make it a select field. Okay. And we're going to call this one uh, glass top. So you type in glass top. Um, yeah, you're going to put in, put in um, um, oh, let's put residential and residential again. And uh, the same for automotive and automotive again. Okay. And then what you want to do before you finish here, you want to go to advanced and you want to change the default value um, field, uh, the ID. So you want to change that to, um, for instance, glass type. Um, glass type. Sorry, glass type. Um, sorry, leave the default value as it is. Okay, so it'll show residential first. That's fine. And then we want to create the next one. Now the next one we're going to actually make um, some radio buttons. And I've actually got um, prepared it over here. So we're just going to call this one automotive. I'm not going to show anything for residential. You can show something for residential. But what I want to do is when they select automotive, I want them to show um, these um, radio buttons and they can select from there. Actually, we'll make it a uh, checkbox. Okay. So what, uh, so what we're going to do now is also just call this one um, going to change the field um, of this and just call it automotive. Okay. And let's just check on this one. Glass type, that's fine. And then we go down here to the PAFE conditional logic form. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure we enable it because by default it's disabled. Okay. And um, we're going to add this we're going to add in automotive so we're going to we want to show this over here so we show if glass type equals a string you can also put a number so if you um if you want to instead of uh, putting the exact same thing here so if we go back to the form fields when you enter your form fields Instead of putting the uh, the 
this the um, slash there you're gonna just put in one or two um, you can then select um, equals string or number we're gonna put string because we're just gonna put in the value which is automotive and we'll leave the rest as it is there are a ton of different options here that you can use especially equals not equals unchecked checked blah 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 you can add in as much as you want um, but I'm just going to add that in just to show you how it works and we're going to just click on update I'm going to preview this new change okay so as you can see it's not showing yet as soon as we click on automotive there we go it shows up so the conditional logic is actually working so it's a really nippy little plugin really easy to use there's a whole bunch of other features it's got as well um, including like a form database um, a multi-step form register and login form all that so there's a ton of extensions that you can add obviously to your uh, elemental plugin so it's really worth the, the amount of money that you pay and to pay $60 to have unlimited and lifetime is a really good deal so um, congratulations to the developers on this plugin they, they did a fantastic job and it works extremely well so if you're lucky enough to see this video before it, this runs out get it while you can it's really a fantastic plugin okay cheers